Je m'appelle Emilia. Je suis une artiste. Enfin, un genre d'artiste. Genre qu'il aurait toujours voulu être, mais le genre qui ne pouvait pas être. J'aime l'art parce que j'aime la beauté. Toutes sortes de beauté. Même celles que certains ne considéraient pas comme telles. Je cherche la beauté en toutes choses et quand je la trouve, je la capture. J'utilise différents moyens, mais quelle que soit la méthode, au moins j'essaie. Je crois que c'était ce qu'il aimait en moi. Surtout parce qu'il en était incapable. Il avait une approche différente. On avait une chose en commun. Paris. On aimait tous les deux être dans cette ville. À vrai dire, c'était plus que de l'amour, c'était un véritable besoin. Une source d'inspiration absolue. Cette ville m'inspirait et en cela, je m'inspirais lui. C'est étrange la façon dont ça s'est passé. C'était à faute de personne. Enfin, sans doute un peu la mienne. Personne n'a envie de se faire tuer. C'était probablement plus un besoin pour l'art. Excusez-moi, je suis désolé de vous déranger, mais je me demandais si je pouvais m'asseoir avec vous. Et je vous en prie. J'espère que je ne vous dérange pas. Je vous avoue, j'ai vraiment senti le besoin de venir vous parler. Mais vous avez bien fait. Vous n'êtes pas français. J'entends un petit accent et j'arrive pas bien à le situer. Yeah, sorry, I, I try my best to fake it, but even that with the easiest phrases is not enough, I think. I'm Spanish. Miguel, my name is Miguel. I'm really pleased to meet you, Miguel. I've actually been to Spain many times. Do you speak Spanish? No, I don't, but uh, I have uh, incredible memories from there. So what do you do? Are you a writer? Yeah. Well noted. It's nothing crazy. It's actually only the very beginning. I always wanted to write this old French love story. The kind of story that has a French narrator and a main protagonist called Francois. And I thought, uh, what would be better than coming to Paris to do that? You're going to be more right. What would be better than coming to Paris anyway? And Francois, the hero, sounds like a bestseller. I know, right? Do you live here? I do, yeah. I love it here. It's like I'm spoiled with everything I ever wanted and loved. I know what you mean. I like to come here specifically to find inspiration at this exact place. And I have to say, today more than any day, I'm really glad I came, as I've never been this inspired. It's so nice, you're gonna make me blush. I'm glad. Red suits you. Are you always so straightforward, Miguel? No. Actually, quite the opposite. The only time that I usually find the strength to do exactly what I really want to do or say is in my books. Well, for the first time in real life, you're really doing well. Would you like to have dinner with me tonight? Well, even more straightforward. How does it feel to be like one of the characters in your book? I'm not quite sure. Right now, a little scary. Would you even go out with a stranger? You don't even know my name. What's your name? I'll tell you what. I'll go out with you, if you can guess what my name is. C'est comme ça que ça a commencé. 
une rencontre inattendue dans un café parisien. Elle s'appelait Emilia. Elle avait ouvert quelque chose en moi. Quelque chose que je ne pourrais plus jamais refermer. Vous êtes venu Je pensais que Dieu vous savait effrayer. Non, mais vous savez, il m'en faut plus pour m'effrayer. Are you hungry I hope you are. As we both know how much we love Paris, I can only take you to his best restaurant. Yeah, I noticed. I've heard so much about this place, but never had the chance to try it. The city is spoiling you again Indeed. Alors, on arrête avec le français. I'd love to. It's, it's just much easier for me to write. My pronunciation is terrible and you'll just make fun of me. I need a French teacher. Would you teach me how to speak like a French person? Oh, I don't think I'd be the best French teacher as I'm half Italian. You're not Italian. Prove it. Um, well, sono curiosa del nostro incontro e non vedo l'ora di vedere cosa succede dopo. What did you say to me? Don't you want to guess? I wouldn't even know where to start, and I am too impatient. Well, I said that our lovely encounter intrigued me and uh, that I can't wait to see what happens next. Tu étais venu. Je n'arrivais pas à y croire. J'avais l'impression d'être dans un rêve. Chaque mot, chaque mouvement, chaque regard. Tout ce que tu faisais relevait de la perfection. Il y avait quelque chose en toi que j'avais toujours voulu avoir. Plus j'apprenais à te connaître, plus je me rendais compte qu'avant toi, je n'avais rien. Est-ce un jeu pour toi Si c'était le cas, nous avions à peine commencé, que j'avais déjà perdu. Would you allow me to be completely honest with you I don't really know how to say it. It feels that I can have something that I really want. But I fear that having it will eventually be really harmful. I see it. The writer, the troubled soul artist. I'm not an artist. Just write. And most likely terribly. <laughs> well, first, that sounds exactly like what a writer would say. And second, I think real artists always try to reach for something out of reach, something they can't have, and therefore, the troubled soul. What, and they will purposely do that to themselves? I think the majority of them do, yeah. They dig for those real emotions, or at least they try to. Who's the writer now? Oh, you are. All I do is read your mind. That's a uh, quite sad but beautiful way to look at the world. I knew you'd find beauty in it. You're the artist who desires what he can't have. I know exactly what I want. But what I want is crazy. And this is what scares me. Then don't be scared, just go for it. I want to. But I'm afraid. Don't be. But this could be the end of me. Then why don't you start with the beginning? Thank you.
down for your soul. I'll leave them all, and I'll never let you down. All your love will never fill the void. All I know is I'll never let you go. Je savais dès le début que je n'aurais pas dû. Mais je te voyais et je ne pouvais pas m'en empêcher. Je m'enfonçais dans une spirale sans fin et je ne pouvais rien faire pour arrêter cette chute. Je me sentais nu, sans défense, attendant d'être poignardé d'un instant à l'autre. J'éprouvais à la fois une joie profonde et une immense détresse, hantée par la peur de te perdre. Plus les jours passaient, plus je t'observais. Comment l'amour, si pur à l'origine, pouvait apporter autant de souffrance Je m'étais toujours promis que si un jour je tombais amoureux, ce serait différent. Mais enfermé dans mon rêve, je ne me rendais pas compte de ma folie. Les semaines passaient, et j'avais peur. Naturellement, je commençais à te repousser. Tu n'avais rien fait, mais j'avais besoin de me protéger. J'avais été trop loin, je m'étais perdu. Tout devenait de plus en plus réel. Je ne pouvais pas te perdre, mais je ne pouvais pas vraiment t'avoir. Je pensais que seule la réalité pouvait m'atteindre. Clairement, j'avais tort. Je savais comment tout cela devait finir. Bonjour. Bonjour. Are you okay? Not exactly. What's happening? I realized something. What do you mean? The way I feel, the way I feel about you, the way I feel about myself, it has all become out of control. But what's happening is beautiful, isn't it? I lost control of my own story. I'm supposed to decide upon every little thing that happens. And here I have no power over anything. Our love is a beautiful one and one that has just started. Why do you want it to end? This is so unfortunate. How lucky I am. I have only found you so that I can lose you. You'll never lose me. I never had you. Look at me. What's going on? This cannot go on. As hard as it is for me to say, this has to stop. Miguel, what's going on? I don't understand. I'm going completely crazy. I've gone too far. I love you. You are my everything the inspiration behind the most beautiful story of my life. But that story now has to end. There's no future for me without you. There's no future with you. Francois, what's going on there? You know that it's not true, all that. You can't. 
Tu dois y mettre fin. Avant que je devienne complètement fou. Tu dois me sauver de la folie. Tu vas le faire tout de suite.